all right man uh let's see uh where do i start man um look first of all man i would like to say this right here um i really appreciate everybody for taking their time out listening to me um thank you for joining the channel if you had already subscribed man i really appreciate all of the views the channel is growing man it's growing really fast so it's crazy i never imagined it growing this fast but um i really really just want to tell everybody i really really appreciate you guys for checking out my content i'm gonna keep dropping those bangers so let's jump right into it <clears throat> Man, first of all, I would like to start off with saying Sony has to do better with engagement. They're not doing what Xbox Game Pass is doing, and that's why they're losing their fans. They're losing about a thousand because everybody is going to Game Pass. It's more value there. I'm I'm sorry, it's just more way more value. Earlier today, you know, I think I had went down the on um, the list and looked at the value and i just kind of compared it to playstation premium and i just was like uh, it's not really quite it's not really quite there you know to make me want to stay on there it's just it's just the multiplayer games is so much fun and it's only a few bangers on there that you really want to play on single player on there still it's just a lot of stuff that came pretty much transfer over from playstation now which is as nice i like it i feel like it is value there but i just don't feel like it's quite as good as xbox game pass there's nothing wrong with playstation premium i just i just feel i just feel like playstation is not doing enough to really give it that extra boost they're not they're, they're not willing to listen to the fans um they want to lock you down um they want to gatekeep you know they want to lock you down to the 70 dollars per game and i just really think that is really starting to bite them it's coming back to bite them because okay it starts to get old at first it was like oh you know everybody hyped up you know it's a premium price tag they're gonna be dropping these bangers you know everybody was excited and now we're hearing all these pushback delays we're hearing um it's gonna take <clears throat> years to keep coming out with games and now it's kind of like slowing down and the subscription service ain't really working like playstation plus premium when it when it came out it was like okay how is this supposed to benefit anyone if they're already on PlayStation and they already played everything already? It, you're not really... You, how do I put this? They're not really giving other gamers out here an opportunity to play it if they're not bringing it to mobile and PC. Yes, PlayStation Premium is on PC, but it's not easy to really... It's, it's like you have to dig deep to go and, and download it and it's just like it's it's not even in, i don't even think it's in the microsoft store i don't even think they have an app for it once you go on the um microsoft website or you should be able to go um into your app store on your pc and just click type in playstation plus premium or whatever and download it that way i think they should make it easier um it's really not that easy to really get into the ecosystem as i would like it to be like game pass i would say i would give sony that heads up make it a lot easier for people to play the games if you want to if you want engagement that's why so many people are leaving because it's so much funner on game pass it's just so easy to get in the game pass it's like android it's so easy to get on you know the the google play store it's just you just it, one touch of a button why is it so difficult to even download um playstation plus premium you gotta go you gotta jump through all these loops you gotta jump through so many loops to even add it to pc so it's just like okay just bring it to mobile just 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 bring it to mobile okay just hurry up with the apps they're moving like a turtle you know is it, and that's why the engagement is dropping yes people it's still millions of people playing playstation but they're starting to see the value in game pass they're starting to see they're about to do this deal with activision blizzard is about to go through for call of duty which is that's just going to boost the value of game pass even more that's just going to be millions and millions and millions of subscribers flooding in the game pass for call of duty and sony knows this and it's just no way they're going to compete be able to compete if they're not dropping their triple a bangers or come out with like i would say like third party triple a bangers 
from due to the fact they like to lock down all these backdoor deals anyway right so just go buy up some more license to make other creators since you don't want to buy your own ips or you don't want to make your own ips go buy up some more license have those third party triple a bangers come to the subscription service that way you don't have to use your first party bangers your your, your uh triple a games on to um, playstation plus since you don't want to put them on there anyways so that way it's a win-win you get what i'm saying so basically go out buy other companies up have them put triple a games on playstation plus that way it's a win-win for everybody but they don't want to do it because they're so greedy and they want to lock down everything so that they can manage everything you know it's kind of like a really greedy boss or a ceo that's just pretty much stealing the company's money behind everybody's back that's what they're doing it's like they're stealing our they, they're just they're stealing the, the fun out of gaming trying to lock down everything like the spider-mans the wolverines you know it's it's, it's the final fantasies it's the dlcs it's the um timed exclusive deals i think Deathloop was supposed to be on xbox already i think it's still i don't even know if, if, if it released i think that was the game that they had a time exclusive with but it's just certain stuff it's just it's like a little tick it's just a nag 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 and it's aggravating because playstation don't care like they i shouldn't even say playstation i say sony i re rephrase that i blame sony i blame the boss i don't blame playstation the creators i'm cool with playstation i've always been a huge fan of them i love them i just don't like the way sony is running the business i just like to throw that in there so that People won't think that I'm targeting PlayStation. I'm targeting no. I'm targeting Sony, the boss, the one that cut the checks, the one that that runs everything, the one that tells PlayStation what to do, what not to do, and um, I just don't like the way they run the company. It's like, okay, why don't you take some advice from? Go to the. I mean, there's so many content creators. All they have to do is just sign online and these and these streets, man. Just go to the YouTube streets. All these bloggers and vloggers, all these game channels. You, you mean to tell me nobody up at Sony looks at content? You mean to tell me no one looks at content? No one delivers the message and say, hey man, look the way, look the way that Game Pass is moving. We should move like that too. If they're, if they're putting Game Pass on TVs, mobile, um, um, iPads, um, PCs of the world um, Everywhere that you can find A Steam Deck That's where PlayStation Plus app should be PlayStation Plus app should be right Next to Game Pass Everywhere It should not be It should not be this difficult To find PlayStation Plus app Oh but little crybaby Sony Up there at the top They've been at the top of the game for so long They don't even know How it feels to even really have Somebody trying to compete with them and now that Xbox Game Pass has competed with them at a very fast rate. Now they're just, they're outselling over there in Japan. They're outselling PlayStations. That is crazy. That, that, I think that never happened before. So obviously Game Pass is doing something right. PlayStation Premium is not. PlayStation Plus needs to, I don't know. <laughs> they really have to do something and do something quick because once this deal go through for Call of Duty, and they own Call of Duty and I think Crush Bandicoot and, and King and, and what's gonna be like 50 plus studios. Man, I don't I don't know, maybe 70. I don't know, I don't even know how many studios, but bro, this is gonna be so many Xbox Game Pass AAA bangers coming. They're gonna be it's gonna be a war out here in these gaming streets. And all Sony had to do was just listen to your fans, listen to the fan base. How many times do these people have to tell you? I heard some Sony like diehards and they just keep complaining. Go back to $60, stop the $70 price tag. People are not with it. And I'm hearing this from every side. Xbox saying, why are they charging that much? Why are they trying to boost the rate up? Oh, it's to pay the content creators so we can make better games, better quality. We need better equipment. Okay, for the developers. Okay, that's their argument, but the developers aren't getting that chunk of change. Or at least they haven't came out and said it. If they would have came out and said it, and they'd be like, "Hey, yes, Sony have gave everyone a ten dollar raise, or uh, or ten thousand dollar raise, however much, ten something, twenty thousand dollar raise, however much they're charging extra if it was going to the developers, 
um, the equipment to make way better stuff. Okay, I'm cool with that. I have no, but I I have not heard no one came out and really said, hey, you know, we're getting paid extra for that price tag for that for that seventy dollar premium price tag. You're getting better graphics. Half of the games I don't even think got ray tracing yet. They're just boosted. PS4 Pro games. That's it. They just upscaled them just a little bit. Maybe put them in 4K. You know, a little better frame rate. I don't even think most of them you have ray tracing yet, which is I think they're like missing out on that because. You know, the new Spider-Man is gonna have it that's coming to PC. I don't even know if it's out yet, but um, PC uh, Spider-Man is out. And that's another thing I like to touch on. That's what money that they were losing for not putting it on PC from the beginning. Even if they didn't want to have it on Xbox. That now they're making up all that revenue. They seen how good God of War did. They seen how good I think uh, was it Days Gone or Last of Us, and um, another one too was it uh, Horizon. Um, I'm pretty sure um, Gran Turismo and all of the rest of them are coming too. They're on the way to PC too. But look at all these millions. Each one of them, uh, they make they're making millions of dollars on PC. Millions, bro. Now imagine if they didn't lock. Okay, Sony has been sent. I don't know if it's like a pride thing, ego thing. I don't know which one it is, but why would you want to? If you're greedy, why would you want to lock down something to only your console if you want money? Why don't you just buy the rights and own it? And even if even if Xbox, if even if it did come to Xbox, I'm talking about Spider Man. Even if it did, Sony would still get that money. And and Marvel, and PlayStation. So that. It's just like the same thing that pretty much Xbox is trying to do with Call of Duty. Xbox is going to get that money when everybody pays 70 just miserable dollars for Call of Duty for no apparent reason. Okay, Call of Duty is already going to come with special editions anyways. So it's going to be like $100 uh, special editions with Call of Duty because Activision already kind of did their own thing anyways. All, I never really worried about how much call of duty cost it because they already come out with different additions you know special editions that's just what they all always did that but i only give them maybe somebody like a uh, god of war special editions or maybe you know big big like like triple a bangers that everybody wants okay I, I would give them a pass spider-man people like that i would give them a pass with a seven dollars and up to a hundred but those are games that deserve it those are games that can walk the walk and talk the talk okay so that's kind of like you know a no-brainer for those guys so i give those a pass but everything else there are a lot of games out there that are definitely not worth 70 dollars man and even a lot a lot of sony guys are say the same exact thing man that is definitely not worth it man like no no way these games half of them are on ps4 just upscaled a little bit and it's it's no they're ripping people off i'm sorry i just don't agree with it and I think they really need to do something about PlayStation Premium because this is not looking good with the engagement. A lot of people are leaving and we already know they're going to Nintendo, they're going to Cloud Gaming, they're going to Game Pass and all of the other subscription services out here. Game Cloud Gaming is taking over and they really need to get it together because the engagement is dropping with these $70 price tags. Yo, every time you want to play a new game, you have to drop $70. Like, people are out here struggling, man. This pandemic is hard out here. We already know what we already been through with, with the Rona. So, now you got the, the monkey pox out here and all this other crazy stuff. So, it's a lot of stuff going on out here, man, that it don't really need to have. No extra stress should be on gamers. All we want to do is just game and have fun with our friends. That's pretty much it. But I think I'm going to leave it there with the whole, I think, um, PlayStation Plus Premium should do better with easier access to get into that ecosystem. It's way too difficult for me to really break down, like, why is it so, like, 
it should be a, you should be able to download apps everywhere for that PlayStation Plus right now. And um, I, I actually think PlayStation Market should come to PC as well, so you can pretty much purchase anything on, please, on, on PlayStation to PC ports. That way, that would be extra revenue for them. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing a little stuff out there because why hold back games if you're going to bring on the PC anyways? So, pretty much, I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Um, Make sure you guys smash that like, that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you can get notified every single time I drop a new video and peace.